Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I got the Horizon Harbor, the 42, and the Union 19. All right. Uh, we're going to run the 42 first. You got the V2 speed run drag packs in that. I uh, got another set of packs for it as well. I only brought one set of packs for the U19. Hopefully, hopefully the wind subsides. We can get a run in with that bad boy there. I got a ABC prop on the U19, okay, for a speed run. And I've actually done some work to my 50 millimeter ABC prop, actually. Thinned it out a little bit more, took a little bit of the leading edge down. Hopefully that'll let the motor wind up. Okay, um, in the next video with the U19, we're actually gonna be doing a, a test between the Z Premium packs. Okay, brand new Z Premiums, brand new DV Extremes, okay? Um, 135C, 120C. We're gonna do a direct comparison, direct test. I'm even gonna go as far as pulling the electronics down so the electronics is the same exact temperature when i put the batteries in same c rate charge rate the whole nine the whole freaking nine we'll see which one comes out on top all right so stick around you guys we're gonna do some speed runs big b we're done clad rc you guys are probably freaking tired of seeing this damn boat but i can't get enough of it you guys i cannot get enough of it <laughs> especially with my new electronics uh, i think this will be the last run with this with the stock motor i think it's going to be the last run that we're going to throw that tp power in okay uh hopefully i got my cg in the boat right um my cg in the boat with these big batteries actually running a little bit forward my cg is right it's right there right behind that the forward step right here where my fingers at i normally run my cg about right here with my other batteries so hopefully hopefully uh i got it right i actually moved it back back a little bit from my last run it was holding the boat down i hope i didn't make a big mistake these batteries are freaking heavy uh 880 grams each you know uh right at 1700 grams total weight on the batteries alone you know um my i actually had a comment uh request to, get, to show you my my tugboat hatch a little closer uh i'm actually gonna put a smokestack behind the the cabin okay for like a scale look i got my magnets my little magnet box that holds the the hatch down ready i'm uh, gonna make something for right here i'm gonna paint some doors and stuff i actually got a little crane i'm making out of wood just kind of mess around give it a little scale look personalize it it's actually a fun little little build you know but it looks pretty good um basically got it primed right now then we're gonna start accent as soon as i want to put my boat in the water a boat comes <laughs> you know a little center console there all right so uh, i'm gonna wait for the waves to subside and i'll uh, i'll get this bad boy in the water Linear throttle reduces full trigger. Hey, that's those freaking big batteries too. Holy cow. I hope my boat's okay those are some big batteries you guys uh, i had one of my subscribers uh he actually got his v2 speed running drag packs uh before i have and i think he had the long ones and he um first run out with these big batteries in his boat he actually uh crunched his boat it he lost one of his batteries i think his seam broke loose i don't know how the how the battery was lost probably went through the seam but um yeah, man, uh, these batteries are heavy. When you put a big battery in a boat, man, you just, you gotta, you're taking your chances. You're taking your chances, you know? Any boat, you're doing speed runs, you're taking your chances with, with tearing your boat up, you know? You can't, when you when you crash your boat at 80 miles an hour, there, you can't blame no one but yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, regardless small batteries big batteries any boat plastic polycarbonate carbon fiber carbon kevlar it don't matter they're all going to break at one point or another you know you can't blame the companies you know uh you can't blame the companies for a boat that cracks at 80 90 100 miles an hour you know especially if the boat's stock 
you know if, if i mean even a carbon kevlar boat they have to be reinforced you know uh normally like a a, a, a stock hull it's thin it's thin for so it's light for speed you know and a lot of times you see, even if it's carbon kevlar carbon fiber you still got to reinforce it you still got to do everything you can to make sure that boat's not going to bust into a thousand pieces and in a crash like my ul19 it's got heavy electronics big batteries and um that's basically why i haven't been running this boat like full full speed wide open throttle it's because I, i've got to reinforce the hull on my ul19 i've got to reinforce it uh no water tape stayed on both of my cooling lines blew off Good deal. 85, 85, and it flipped. I didn't even have it winded out, you guys. I, I, can't, I still hadn't been able to wind these batteries out. All right, I got the breakaway screws in, got my rudder tight. Everything seems to be good. Let's get this thing cleared out for you guys. Oh, let's see. Hopefully, I can, hopefully, I didn't take too much off that prop. I literally took oh man barely i barely took anything off the leading edge i really just kind of thinned it out and uh while i was thinning it out i basically worked down the leading edge more more so around the tongue area hopefully it, it don't have too much lift right now you know um ah. oh man hopefully i hope i made the right decision i i don't run um prepped propellers i prep my own propellers it just just makes me feel uh like i've actually accomplished something you know there's no nothing against any of the prop preppers uh dude i just enjoy i just enjoy doing my own propellers you know yeah i'd probably get better speeds with a race prepped prop but uh, if I got brace propeller paired propellers every time and I didn't do it myself, I wouldn't learn anything, you know I wouldn't really learn much. I would uh, I would just be getting what somebody gives me and I wouldn't learn anything about the whole balancing and, and, and Preparing process, you know All right. Well, I didn't move my CG forward any I kept it where it was at Shoot I didn't even check it. Let's see all right, so my forward step, I usually come back about a quarter inch. Oh, oh man. Oh, I probably should have checked it. Oh, it's a little bit far back. All right, still breezy. This is my big batteries. I'm trying to take it easy. I really don't want to crash. Here we go with these big batteries. Linear throttle, reduces the voltage drop, folder sag, so we get a full trigger. That was all she had. These big batteries, they're heavy. They're heavy, you guys. That was all she had. Oh, if these batteries were about 200 grams lighter each, <laughs> we would have something. You know, boats, they like to be light, you know? I, I don't think the extra discharge of these batteries in a boat is going to really, I don't think it's really going to freaking help. I really don't because of, of the weight. You know, we're on the borderline, borderline, man, of weight with this boat, with these big batteries. You know, um, I can't wait to do that test with the Z and the SMC. I can't wait, man. I got a bunch of guys commenting like, oh, the C rating on batteries is hyped up, you know, probably blah, 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 20C, really. You know, and you guys are right, you know, they're, you're right about that. But, uh, you know, it, it really, in my opinion, my, my eyes, it really don't matter what a battery says. It could be negative 10C on the, on the battery. As long as the battery has a good discharge, low voltage drops, low ripples, if you're freaking doing all the data logging, if it has low ripples and voltage drops, I don't see why it should even freaking matter what the C rating is. Really, the C rating is just to tell the consumer, look, hey, 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 you guys, these are some uh, some boss batteries. You know, a lot of guys, a lot of companies lie about it just to, just to sell their batteries. And a, lot, and a lot of companies are having to actually up their C rating just just because 
uh, other companies are claiming a false C rating. So they've actually got to up the C rating to let the consumer know, look, these things are freaking boss. You know, uh, they, they got more discharge than, say, uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry's battery. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so so my uh, C rating don't really matter. All that matters about a battery, you know, to me, to me, and everybody's different, is the freaking performance. You know, like I said, it, it could have a million C. Who cares? As long as the battery works, what can you do about it? What can you do about it? You know? All right. Everything's sorry about the rant. Let's, uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Linear throttle. Full trigger. Okay. Full trigger. She wanted to pick up in the wakes. In those wakes, I didn't let it cool down long enough. All right, well, let's check the speed. I felt like I got a good run, I guess. Every time I get up to a certain speed, it's wanting to, like, slide out. Like, almost like I hit something. I could be hitting something. Oh, slimy right here. Actually got one decent pass. 80 freaking six. Oh, I shouldn't have messed with that freaking prop. Oh, freaking A. So I'm looking at some new props for this boat. Everybody was like, prop the boat up. <laughs> Hell, it is propped up. <laughs> it's a 50 millimeter six pitch ABC, man. It's freaking propped up, son. So uh, if I do prop it up, I was thinking about going up to a... A 2115. I was thinking about going up to a 2115 or <sighs> there's no there's hardly any ABC props available right now. 86, 86. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the HCL HPs. Alright, and I probably won't be able to prop the boat up till next year, man. I, there's no ABC props available. I, I found some, but they're really there's really not the props I'm looking for, you know. Uh, I, I really, I really would love to get like a, a 1917 for the boat, but um, or even a yeah, I don't know. All right, record, okay. Full trigger. It does sound like the props spooling up a little bit more, which that's why I took a little bit of the le leading edge down. It don't have such a deep sound now. Uh, it sounds like it's winding up a little bit more, you know, but um, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to have the top speed anymore. Jeez. Can only hold full trigger for a couple seconds. I'll flip it now. Taking a couple pictures for the for the thumbnail. How about that last thumbnail picture with the rooster tail? Oh man, that was freaking awesome. That that last thumbnail picture was freaking awesome, you guys. 84. Geez. So yeah, man. Yeah. It's either the rough weather, the rough water. I'm not getting a good number today, or my propeller I modified. Alright, so I got the SMC. HCL HP 7600 150Cs in the boat. I got the batteries about center ways in the tray. 1816 ABC and the GPS is zeroed out. I don't think we're going to be able to get a good run in, you guys, but uh, we're going to give it a quick rip. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nice. Oh, yes, yes, sir, buddy. 
Oh, maybe we can do something here. No, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Oh, and that tape went in the water. Oh, a whole roll of hatch tape just fell in the freaking water. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I can't take the hatch off because I just dropped my tape in the water. Looks pretty good. It actually ran pretty good. The, the ride attitude of the boat seemed pretty good. Okay, so it actually looks pretty good. Let's get it. Power cut. <laughs> Cruising, baby. Seventy nine, that's definitely my PB. Seventy nine. Okay, seventy nine miles an hour. That's my PB with the boat. After those four runs. Three nine six. Damn, I had enough for one more pass. Oh man. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. That's my PB. So with any other freaking GPS, it would be 80, but uh, this one's a couple mile an hour slow. So, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I, I'm sure it's a long freaking video. If you guys are still here, boat gang for life, baby. Boat gang for life. Um, damn, that's nice. That's freaking nice. The Blackjack 42 is faster than this boat right now, but we're going to change that. We're going we're gonna to find the right prop for and let her dig, huh? So, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or don't like, or don't subscribe.